Good morning, you beautiful angels. It's currently Tuesday, April 3rd, and welcome back to another day of vlogs. Like I said, it's another beautiful, vloggy, sunny day. We are currently in the, the home, the multiple home we've been in. And guys, we have a couple of new updates. Um, a um, couple new projects that I've been working on. Start with the Bible projects, because those are important. So the first thing is, we just passed Easter, which is awesome. He is risen. So the one thing I've been learning on, been wanting to like, I guess condemned with, to work on is this. The fruit <coughs> of the spirit. So I've started a little project on learning how to make God greater and myself less. Which in a day and age and when you're already 24 years old and you've already become stuck in your habits and your old ways and you're selfish and all that wonderful junk, it's hard. But when you have God and your family who are there to support you and push you to be the best you and you start pushing against them, God starts to push back against you and realize, put, makes you realize that you're quite selfish and that, that's, that's not what God wants. And you can't help anyone if you're so focused on yourself. So that's something I've been working on. So the Fruits of the Spirit has been helping me with that. I'm going to show you a little bit of how this is going to work. Okay. So what we have here is all the Fruits of the Spirit. Here, we'll try that like this. There we go. So love. That's the first thing we've is love. So what is love? Love surpasses human understanding. In order to have love, we have to be filled with the fullness of God. And how do we show love? With goodwill and devotion to others. And we need to do this by doing for others as Christ has done for me. And we don't give in order to receive. So I don't give money to the church hoping that they're going to give me whatever, Starbucks card, to give me appreciation. We don't. That's not what God does. God wants our love and to tell others about Him so that they can be saved. But we don't need to, like, say we get a job or something and we've been praying about it say oh look at the job that i got no it's look at the job that god provided for me so that i can provide for others and that's something being a teenage well, not a teenager a young adult that grew up knowing god but not knowing god for myself has been very hard so anyhow on top of these cards we have three ways father son and the holy spirit three ways of how to do this the first way to show his love is to go above and beyond what I have been asked to do. So if I've been asked to take the dogs for a pee, instead I'm going to take them out for a 15 minutes walk. I'm going to leave time for others when they, who want or need help. So say, like right now my family has been moving in and stuff like that, but they've also asked me to get a job, which I've worked on. And the other thing they want me to do is to become less selfish. So I'm working on spending more time with God, my dog, taking care of household things, letting them know and what I've done, like getting my homework done, doing my taxes, getting a bunch of stuff done that's for me, but my parents want me to be able to let, be less selfish and get a job and be able to help others and not focus on myself, which that's something I've been trying to do. So by doing the simple things like doing my homework, washing my hair, washing my face, doing my makeup, those are things that my mom enjoys when I do because she knows that I'm not just being lazy and watching YouTube and Netflix, which is something, an, another thing. Um, and then the second, th the third thing is something that I've got to work on is give to others so the church my first fruit. So there's a story in the Bible, I don't remember where, but when they put the idea is in the Bible, it's actually literally the first fruits. They plant the crops, and there's the two brothers. The one gives his first fruits, and the one gives like the best fruits or whatever. But this to us comes to giving my first in the morning, giving my first time of the day for God, giving God my attention when I get a job or a paycheck instead of taking it and buying food and stuff for myself or treats or Starbucks I need to take the first money and give to God but also by giving to God I can give to others so say I, I see someone who needs a meal or they're really hungry or they don't have socks or something I give to them first and then but I shouldn't respect and then coming back to the whole back to um, don't give to receive so I give to others money to get stuff that they need but I shouldn't expect to get anything in return because I don't need it. I want things in return but that's not 
the way my mind should be working. So that's something I've been trying to change. I'm the kind of person I grew up always wanting and expecting to get things in return, but now I'm kind of trying to step back and change that. It's hard, but I'm working on it. Second project is also Bible-based. We have here 1 Corinthians 4.13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boat. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So my goal with this is I'm literally trying to transform myself based on the Bible. Based on love, joy, peace, patience, and being patient and kind and not being envious, not boasting about the things I want. So underneath these are little... So you guys back up. These are little key cards that I cut out. So here you see have the heart, love is patient. And underneath I'm gonna write kind of like I did with the others, except for around the three ways of doing it. Love is patient. Well, how do I be a patient? Or if I'm being impatient, I'm gonna write a tip underneath on here, how to be more patient. So like if I'm having trouble, okay, pray. Take a deep breath and pray. Dear God, I need patience right now. I don't wanna ask for it because I don't want to be patient, but God. I know I need your patience. Not my patience, but I need your patience and I need your help to be patient. Um, this one, it is not self-seeking. That's kind of like what I was talking about with the whole receiving. And that's hard. It's hard in the world when everyone's not a Christian or not a follower of God. And everyone just wants, 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 and there's always new things. Our minds are pulled toward this. But the only reason why our minds are pulled toward this things like the newest phone and more money and Starbucks and stuff is because we're not close to God yet. And that's what brings it together. So we need to have God in order to get rid of this selfish need, selfish, selfish want. Okay, so that's enough with the Bible stuff. That's where I'm coming up with the Bible. I also have a Bible bag that I've been working on and this, that's where this came from. And you saw the board, when my, I'm done with the fruits of spirit, they're all going to be up there. And the second part is the reason why it's on the board is because I move into a new place. It's going to be with my parents, which is part of the whole finding a job and transforming myself. I don't want to be a bad influence on my younger brother and sister who are both at the age now where they're learning to find, figure out who God is for themselves. They're not just doing going to church and stuff as a family now. They're both at the age where they're getting their personalities and their interests and all that good stuff. So I want to be a good role model for woman for my niece who is absolutely in love with God right now. Like everything. She knows the story of the Bible. And she, she knows deep down in her heart that Easter is not about candy and stuff like that. But it's about the fact that God died and he beat death and arose from the grave three days later. Which is awesome. And another thing on that, it's something that's hard to believe. And I know a lot of my family members, not, but who don't believe in God and a lot of people hear oh it's just a story he didn't actually die and rise from the dead but you know what you're not gonna know until you go to heaven and you're not gonna go to heaven if you don't believe but anyhow that's my little rant on that but yes I moved into a new place um they actually got ac access to it Easter day so that's awesome they got their storage bin moved there at nine o'clock this morning so about an hour ago and they're starting to move in my place is probably going to be about the size of this room, as you can see. Yeah, a little bit bigger, actually. Cut out a little bit. There's a big, big window along the front. I have my own main entrance to the apartment. I'm going to have my own mini kitchen. I'm going to have my own bathroom, which is really pretty. But that's, again, one of the things that I want to... I would like, and I need to have my own place. But in order to do that, when I get there, I'm going to need to take my dogs for a walk, need to help others. I need to put others first. That's kind of my thing. Once I get this place, I need to be able to spend more time with God. And because God and my parents are given to me, I need to give back. They're not expecting me to give back, but they know that what they've done for me is a blessing. And I'm not. it's not going to be an expensive place to rent. Most places are $1,000. My parents are giving me really cheap but in order for that, I need to be more responsible and respectful of my parents and the things that I have and the things that God has given me. So, but yeah, that's all going to be happening soon. Um, another thing is you guys have seen me driving the Ford around the Black Ford. Um, a couple days ago before Easter, it kind of, it didn't actually blow up, but it's it's not safe to drive today. It's going to the wreckers, I guess you'd call it. My mom's calling them today. 
So hopefully I'll be getting access to a new vehicle soon. I've been my last week. I also had the flu. Kind of talking in circles, but last week I had the flu. Everyone else in my family is kind of rotating through the flu now. So last week I didn't have class, so I was I got behind on homework and stuff like that. Um, three assignments for sure. One of which I'm not gonna be able to do because I need to have a doctor's note, which it was the flu. So I didn't go to the doctors to the hospitals. I just laid in bed and got better. So I told my teacher that's fine. My grades are good. Unless you can, because, but yeah. Then the other two assignments, which I'm doing in keyboarding class today, and I was behind three or four typing lists, and so that's currently what I'm working on my desktop. Um, also, when I got the flu, I went off my meds because my stomach was already a mess. I didn't want to put my meds in there to upset it more, so I have to start going back on that because my stomach has started to become a mess. But that's because it's recovered from the flu. Now my body's ready to have those meds back in it. But yeah, um, life's well, been pretty good. Um, get a new thing as I got my printer set up. Um, I did right here my taxes for the first time ever. It was a long process. I have to get this sent out, but again, not having a vehicle, I need to wait for someone to take me to do that. Um, classes are almost over. I've been on the hunt for job. I've got a couple of good recommend, not necessarily a recommendation, but like, I went to places and they said, the chances are yes that I'm going to get the job, which is awesome. Just waiting for phone calls. Big group project that I'm finishing up that should be done soon. But yeah. Anyhow, so I'm going to work on finishing my breakfast and my coffee and some homework for a bit. Um, I was literally just the reason why I picked up the camera was I am watching a video here on how to vlog. Again, kind of just trying to figure out how to do it better and edit it better with software. So this is going to be a little test run for, again, taking the next step up from vlogs. But yeah, my goal today is to finish this. Don't have class till 3. I don't even think it's 11 yet. Oh, it's just after 11. So I'm going to be finishing up my homework, doing my laundry, and I will check back with you guys in a bit once we are done homework. Peace. Good evening, beautiful angels. It's about 5 o'clock now. The whole day has passed. As you can see, my hair is done. The beautiful face is done. The yeah, outfit's done, and we are back home. A um, couple of things have happened. I went to class, was keyboard, and I got three assignments done. Zero time write-ins. I am on lesson 17 out of 20 for, for typing, which needs to get done tonight. I got grocery guys, which is awesome. Um, so let's go to the kitchen and see what we got. Back in the kitchen, and let's see what we got. For dinner tonight, we eat chicken and simple, cheesy mat, Gluten and soy free dairy, lactose, and protein. I've got a kiwi, strawberry, energy water, some pocky chips for, well, we are eating dinner. Um, I don't think I got anything in there. Let me get a couple things. I got tortilla shells. And then the last thing I got for breakfast is strawberry banana. Has 40 strawberries, two and a quarter bananas, Three apples all in here, and there's protein, no added sugar, it's gluten free and sugar free. And then I have my Riviera, which I've shown before, set stale yogurt, my favorite by far, awesome taste, awesome texture. But yeah, I'm gonna work on making some dinner. Dogs have been for pee, and I'm going to watch some YouTube and make some dinner. So, whilst I get dinner going, we'll do a little bit of a catch up because when I got back from class, I went with my mom to Cal Caledon, I don't know, some church in the middle of nowhere, picked up my brother and sister from their piano theory class. But yeah, um, good news, my car, my Kia, is now been taken out of the driveway, down to Canadian Tire, where my brother works, older brother works. It has been safety, and the oil change has been done, and then let's get him back home tonight Tomorrow, all that needs to happen is the ownership is going to become finished transferred and then it will be clean, which is Wednesday, so by Thursday or Friday, my car will be legally and road ready, which means we can drive ourselves around again, guys. Isn't it awesome? So that means in a couple days, we can actually do things again and actually, factually have a life. But yeah, we're gonna get some dinner going and I'm gonna watch some YouTube and we'll see you in a bit, beautiful angels.
So, it's about 10 to 6. I cooked the pasta. It cooked really well. The pasta itself tasted good. Reading the ingredients after. Let's take a look. Deliciously dairy free. Tried it. Figured, you know what? It's gonna taste good. There's, it still says cheddar. It's gonna taste good. Definitely not a big fan of this. It was five dollars too. It's probably worth it if you really like it. But for five dollars, I can get the other gluten-free stuff, and it's the same amount. And it actually tastes pretty good. Uh, it, but it's it's a learning process. It's the second brand of gluten-free pasta that I've tried. The other one was edible. The texture was really hard, but it could have just been undercooked. The flavor was awesome. The flavor on this, on the other hand, is not no. I can't eat it. So well, waste the five dollars. But I learned that I didn't like it. I've seen this for a while and thought, oh, this looks like it would be really good. It looks appetizing. But looks aren't taste. But yeah, that goes up to the trash now because that is the trash dinner plan. So now I get to find something else for dinner. So after about 10 minutes of thinking, I decided that I still needed to eat so, I decided to get a straw for dinner. No, I decided to make a smoothie for dinner. But yeah. Yeah. Strawberry banana, it's a strawberry banana smoothie mix. It's a liquid mix though, and then I added some crushed ice just to keep it cold, and then I added about a tablespoon of protein powder to make it nutritious, so that will give me some protein. Probably still have some toast or something after, but like I said, that pasta really, I I ate a bite. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to eat it. I made it, and I, I couldn't do it. In any case, I am going to sit down and watch some Jake Paul for a bit. And then I am going to probably work on some more homework. Um, there's not really much new around here I can show you again. All the stuff with the car, by the end of the week I should be able to drive that. Um, tomorrow I can probably show you guys the new place. But I think I'll just show you the outside of it and my family's part of it. But I'm not going to show you my part of it until it's clear and I can show you a before video. And then I'll show you an after video because it's going to take a couple weeks until I'm able to even move into it. And then after that, we'll have to set it up and get everything organized and stuff. But I will actually have my own place for at least the next year. Six months. No, a year. A year. But anyhow, I am going to go eat some dinner. Um, if you guys click on my channel description, there will also be a new video up on the homepage. Um, it's a school tech haul video. I got a bunch of stuff from my school for technology, smart pen, a new printer, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you guys want to go check that out, I would say I'd put the link in the description, but I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. But if I do, check the link in the description and it will be there. Other than that, I will see you guys in just a little bit after I eat food. Hi there, guys. It's about 6.30 and I almost just broke something, but luckily for me, it was just a sign. Anyhow, so as you can see, I am now in PJs, so nice little rainbow dash shirt and some fuzzy penguins. Um, almost done my drink. I was trying to watch a movie on Amazon videos, but I wasn't really enjoying it. I'll see you guys up here for a second. So I'm just about to fold my towel and put it away. But yeah, I still have my makeup on, which is all good. But yeah, um, in PJs, comfy, have not washed the makeup off yet, that is definitely a must. I'm really enjoying it though today, I definitely need to do better darker lines and stuff like that, because now it literally just looks like my face is all still one color, even though I literally spent 20 minutes highlighting and contouring and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to work on getting ready for the night, I think this is going to be where I end the vlog for the night, just because I don't... I think I'm going to be doing much else. I'm going to be eating it and watching Netflix. Um, I'm probably going to work on editing tomorrow. So we'll start off tomorrow morning with a brand new vlog, guys. Maybe show you quick time lapse of me 
doing my makeup in the morning, do a little clip of that. Might actually put a, actually I'll make a whole video on that tomorrow. I'll just do a little makeup video and show you guys what I'm using. But anyhow, I hope you guys had a great day. I had a pretty good day overall. I'm enjoying the makeup and the hair, so we're doing good with that. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a good night's sleep and we will see you tomorrow. Peace.